Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we're revisiting the Pancakes family. Not the base game Pancakes family, but the Pancakes family from my makeover video. Hence why the house looks different. Quite a few things have changed actually, it turns out, since the last time we were with Bob and Eliza. Just to refresh your memories, we've got Bob here, he has a job as an assistant dishwasher. Turns out he didn't get a single promotion in the whole time since we left him. Which I can't remember the exact time, but it was definitely over a year ago. Then we've got Iggy here, he was a toddler in the last video, now he's a child. We've got Eliza here, who was an interior designer. In fact, I think that dates the episode where we gave them a makeover, because it must have been fairly shortly after the Dream Home Decorator pack. Because looking at, at their home renovation, a lot of this is from that pack. Even the upstairs, you can see the office and everything. That's Eliza's little office. And little Molly Pancakes is now a toddler. She was a baby in the last episode. Molly is a baby that Bob and Liz had after they rekindled their romance. However, she, you know, she fits into the family so well that I like to think, in my mind, Molly is just a default part of the family. And in everyone's game, Bob and Liz have two children, Molly being the youngest. So yeah, I thought for today we'd check in on this family, see how things have changed. I have already had some insight and, uh, well... Things really seem to have gone tits up since I left the picture, I'll tell you that much for free. Last time I was with Bob and Liz, they started doing a little bit of counselling, their relationship was going from strength to strength. Um, you know, they had Molly, so they were being intimate, they'd worked through a few of their problems, they found common ground. I leave them for over a year, shit's really hit the fan. I mean, look at that, it's awkward. They do kind of like each other, but there's no romance left at all, no spark whatsoever. It's kind of tense in this house, to be honest, you know? I could really feel the tension as soon as I walked through the front door. Part of me kind of wished that they'd never invited me over to stay, but you know, I, didn't, I don't want to be rude. So I guess I can stick around for a little bit. But the atmosphere around here, it's just got petty at this point. Liz has really turned into a bitter bitch as of late. She's been hiding Bob's Xbox controllers to try and get him to help out more around the house. Just really unreasonable, you know, sick shit. In fairness, it has been tit for tat though, to be honest. Last time Liz had parental controls put on Bob's laptop, he threw plums on her bed. I say her bed because despite moving them back into the same room in the last episode and giving them some sexy candles, Bob's bedroom is right here. Sleeps on the sofa most nights, unless he's feeling particularly down and then he treats himself to a night in the kiddie tent. Yeah, yeah, very sorry state of affairs indeed, guys. So I hope you didn't come here expecting my usual happy-go-lucky tone. No, this is a sad story that's bound to leave me and everyone involved, including the viewers of this, incredibly depressed. But you know what, despite their problems, I'm fairly confident that we could make things work. You know, I think they just need a little bit of TLC, we just gotta pick up the pieces again like we did last time. They rekindled their romance once, I'm fairly confident that they could do it again, you know? It just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of tender love and care, and we'll get there eventually. Maybe we could do some therapy, a little bit of uh, couples counselling for you two? What do you think? I think perhaps we should probably start there. So you know what, Liz, open your phone. I've got my family therapy and support services app installed. Downloaded that, especially for you guys. Okay, we're gonna go to our initial therapy consultation. We'll take Bob with us. 250 simoleons, just to be, just to be recommended what further therapy we need. Good thing they've got a lot of money. I have no idea how they have all this money. I'm thinking maybe I did it and then forgot about it. <laughs> we'll send the kid, we'll send the to Molly to daycare. Iggy, you can just sit and watch some cartoons, buddy. I know it can't be easy for you dealing with fighting parents. And I'm sure you probably, I'm sure the thought does cross your mind that it is your fault, but you know, you can't blame yourself. Speaking honestly from one person to another, you know, there is a chance it could be your fault, but there isn't really anything you can do about that. You can't make your parents love each other. And, you know, if they have fallen out of love, they probably would have fallen out of love anyway. Just because you were the catalyst, you know. So, 
just don't let it bother you, all right? I'm glad we had this chat. Iggy, you just enjoy your cartoons, all right? Does Eliza wish to continue with family therapy? Yeah, yeah, I think we should. Okay, so we've gone for our initial consultation. Bob, please! Oh, God, I can see why Liz is sick of your shit. Okay, so do we now have an option for couples counselling? Okay, family therapist alone, couples counselling with partner. Okay. Oh, she can go to a support group. What kind of support group? Oh, just for being a parent. All right, well, we'll do some couples counselling at some point. We've made the first step. Okay, we've gone for our initial consultation. Some truths were aired in that session, and I'm sure the tension is even higher now in this house. Bob's happy now that he's video gaming. I guess that's his true love. You know what, Bob? I think you and I, let's go for a walk. Take a breather. Get out of the house for a little bit. Think about the situation. We don't need to jump into anything too quickly. We'll go do some fishing. Broaden our mind a little bit. Just have some, some calm time. Take in the scenery. Think about what you want. Eliza did say she wants a divorce, but it just seems like such a drastic step to Bob. I think Bob is probably more the optimist in this situation. I think in his mind he would rather try and work through the problems. He, he's the kind of guy, he sees marriages forever, you know? Not everyone does, but I think really in his heart of hearts he would like things to work out with Liz and that they could find some compromise in their relationship. I think that's really what he wants. So why don't you catch a nice fish, maybe something you can grill for the family later. And then we'll go home and we'll apologise. Don't really know what we did wrong, but that's kind of the deal sometimes with being a husband, Bob. I'm sorry to tell you that. The safest bet is always just to say sorry. Accept responsibility. Even if you've done fuck all wrong and she's being unreasonable. Yeah. All right, you've got a fish. Well done. Okay, we're going to go home. But you know what? We'll do one step along the... We'll make one stop along the way. Hopefully the little garden shop is still open. Oh, yeah, it's still open. It might just be about to close, so we'll go and buy garden shop items. Bob's had some time to think. I think he wants to try and make it right. So we'll pick up a nice flower for Liz just to say, Love you. Like a nice, lovely rose. Yeah. In fact, you know what? I'll just I'll buy the stock. They've got two. We'll get two for the next argument. There we go. There we go. Come on then, Bob. Let's head home, buddy. Okay, we're back. It's good to get a little bit of fresh air, get some perspective on things. Yeah, all right, where's Liz? We'll go give her a rose. Where are the kids? Oh, the kids are in the living room. They're fine. Liz? And Travis? What the fuck, Liz? This is some bullshit, and Bob's just standing there, just taking it. Okay, now I think he's... <laughs> is Bob jealous? Yeah, he's pretty fucking jealous right now, yeah. Having his wife cheating on him. Fucking Travis Scott. You already have options, Travis. Oh, dear. We bought you roses as well, Liz. Well, you're not getting them now. Now we're going to go take a shit on them. Just like you took a shit on our heart. Oh, Bob. I think probably we should, we should send Travis home. I hope he wasn't planning on putting the kettle on. I mean, he can non-committal. No, she is committal. Liz would have been committal if she actually loved Bob. Travis, I hope you're seeing your way out and you're not... Look at him going up the stairs, getting comfortable. Send home. Right, Liz, I think you do have some serious explaining to do. Okay, let's just uh, confess. Right, well, let's confess first. We know he saw it with his own eyes, but we'll confess anyway. Honesty is the best policy, Liz. Without further ado, I know it's a kind of an awkward conversation, but she's still walking like a snob. You really are still taking the moral fucking high ground after all that. Apologize? Apologize about cheating. Okay, explain reason for cheating. Uh, what's the reason? We kind of want to pin it all on Bob, really. Well, let's just go with the obvious. No love left between Eliza and Bob. I think that's the real reason. That's what it all boils down to, isn't it? Uh, I was so optimistic at the start of this. I, I really thought we could have worked this out, guys. Love is dead from learning of cheating reasons. Bob's partner said they cheated because they feel the love between them is dead. Travis and Bob now despise each other. Bob's partner confess, confessed that they are in love with someone else. What should Bob do? Well, thinking back at what Bob was kind of contemplating when he was fishing, even though he's upset, I think ultimately he does want to work on things. So we're going to say stay, try to reconquer their love. All of this shock has really brought up a lot of tension in Bob's bowels. You know what, Bob? Go take an angry shit. You deserve it. 
You take your time, son. But you know what? It's been a crazy day for everyone involved. Liz, why don't you go put Molly to sleep? Ziggy, take yourself to bed. In fact, Bob, you can maybe spray the monster once you've finished shitting. And then Liz, maybe if you go to sleep as well. Let's just let the dust settle. See how we all feel in the morning. And Bob, why don't you just go eat your feelings, all right? Take it out on the fridge, bud. The way they look at each other. Just such hatred, isn't there? Liz, will you take the baby to bed? I don't know how many times I have to ask you. All right, Bob, get some sleep. And Liz, you get yourself some sleep as well. Oh, how are you scared of the monster under the bed when we already sprayed it? Okay, okay. Iggy, you just sleep in your mum's bed. All right, there we go. Everyone's asleep. Well, it's a new day. Iggy's going to go to school any minute now. I see Bob kicked over the trash can. I think once Iggy goes to school, we'll probably... We'll probably try and go to couples counselling. Bob said he wants to forgive us, so... Maybe a little bit of talking can help. Our work for Bob starts in an hour. You know what, Bob? I think perhaps we'll take a vacation day today. Iggy's gone to school. So I think today... Oh, we've got to wait till 10am before we can go to couples therapy. Okay, fine. You guys do what you want with your own time. Looks like uh, Bob's been browsing some parenting forums and discovered that he's actually not that great of a parent. I know you guys don't feel like you could talk to each other face to face, but you could use the infant as a tool to talk to each other, you know? Like Liz could say, Molly wishes Dad would help around more around the house. And then maybe Bob would say, yeah, I'm sure she would. But I'm sure Molly also would love it if her mum wasn't such a slut. Go to couples counselling with partner. Okay. Good luck, guys. Let everything out, okay? Don't, don't hold anything in. Really reflect on who you are as people and where you want this marriage to go. What a waste of time. If Bob thought things were on the right, wrong path with his partner before, now they really are. Going to therapy as a couple was a really good decision. It helped to clarify that some Sims maybe aren't meant to be couples. Oh, no. Kind of sounds like Eliza's made up her mind. The therapy session kind of did the opposite of what I thought it would. Demand a temporary separation, I think, is probably the best thing for everyone. I think we just need a little bit of time apart. Bob and Eliza are now separated. This status represents a potentially temporary break in a relationship. Okay, all right, what options do we have now? Blame for relationship problems. Apologize for past mistakes. I think if we stick to Eliza's personality, we'd probably rehash old arguments, wouldn't we? Right here on the porch for all the neighbors to see. Ask to go and stay somewhere else. I think you guys clearly can't be in the same home together because all you do is bitch and moan. So I think Bob's gonna have to go find somewhere else. Should Bob accept to stay somewhere else for a while? Yeah, I, th I think so. I think you're gonna have to, Bob. I don't know how much money he's taking with him. Perhaps, uh, oh, we need a rental. All right, you know what? I don't really want to go and stay in a rental because I think this is going to be long term. So I think, Bob, we just kind of need to split from household and move. I have noticed, though, under their sim profile, spouse separated, living apart. Oh, sad, isn't it? All right, Bob, yeah, split from household. Well, we can't live there because we can't live opposite Travis. So perhaps we'll just move in the house across the street. I'm sure Eliza would be thrilled. Right, this is Bob's new home. It's just close enough so he can look at the house he used to live in. I deliberately tried to give his home not much personality. It's pretty gloomy, not a lot of uh, colour. Although I actually think it's quite a fair representation of a bachelor pad. If you know many single guys who live alone, their homes always look like this. So much grey. Black and white. Single boys, they just live in monochrome. And we are a single bachelor now. You know what, um, Bob? Oh, he's disappointed. Oh, well, go to work. You may as well try and get a couple of hours in. We need to start picking up the pieces. You're a single man now. We need to start establishing some kind of life. We've used Eliza as a crutch for too long. We've always been a package deal. I like to think Bob and Eliza met at high school, maybe. That's how they ended up still being together, despite being so incompatible. Right, let's make ourselves a faux meat casserole for dinner. Yeah, I think, Bob, it's time for some self-care. 
It's time for some self-care, all right? You need to focus on yourself now, mate. You and the kids. Don't slam that fridge door. That's your own stuff you're fucking up. Have some respect. Work on your career. Find some independence. Find some happiness in your own company, you know? Maybe get on the dating scene. I mean, probably not right away, but something to think about, isn't it? We couldn't really afford a house with, like, a room for the kids, but we've got quite an open-plan living room, so I'm thinking when they come and stay over, we'll just lay out some sleeping bags, we'll have a movie night, you know, we'll try and make it fun for them. We should probably invite Eliza over, not that we particularly want to spend time with her, but we need to figure out some sort of custody arrangement. I mean, she's got the house, she's got the kids, but she's not going to get rid of us that easy. I mean, we still... Still need to figure out a plan. All right, here she is. Just invite in. Come on in, Liz. I'm just rustling up some casserole, all right? So just give me a minute. Don't go wandering through my stuff in my bedroom. What the fuck? Yeah, that bed's seen a lot of action, Liz, actually. Had two girls round here already. So, yeah, I'm really happy now. Moved on, basically. I don't cry every night. Okay, so the real reason why you're here... Discuss the children's future. We gotta figure out some kind of plan. Neither of us wanna be here. Custody. Decide on custody of child. Decide on the custody of Iggy. Who will have custody of this child? Well, Liz will have custody of the children. But we still need to figure out, like, visitation and shit. Okay, so we can ask to bring child for a visit. Oh, there's the kid right there. Oh. Iggy, you want some casserole, mate? Right, you know what I am gonna do, though? We're gonna add some stayovers, so we'll do the kids for one night on Monday, and then we'll get them again on Friday, this time for two nights. Okay, that's about 50-50, isn't it? So we'll see them for at least four days a week. Okay, fine. All right, well, don't feel the need to stay. We'll just send them all home. Kids, we'll come pick you up tomorrow, okay? All right, Bob, it's been a crazy day. Let's just get an early night, son. Oh, shit, it's love day. Oh, God, how depressing. All right, we've got to go to work soon. Hopefully you do well and you get a promotion. Actually, you're not going to get a promotion today, but, you know, we could try and get a promotion in the next few days. All right, we're home. I have a few ideas of how we should spend our evening. First off, text the kid... Tell him we're still thinking about him, we love him, all that shit. And then, we need to get you a, a bit of a life together, Bob. We're gonna go to the gym. Work on our fitness a little bit, see if we can make a few gym friends. Movers and shakers, there we go. Alright, let's go practice our punching for next time we see Travis. Oh, there's a guy, Knox. Let's go talk to him. I feel like you need more of a support system, Bob. You need a friendship group. Friendly introduction. Introduce ourselves to this guy right here. Oh, I think Knox has a crush on us. <laughs> Seems like he works out a lot. Wouldn't mind a body like this guy. Yeah, I think this could definitely become our new friendship group, these two guys. We could do like a little cinema club where we go to the movies, watch all the action movies together. We could go fishing together, camping trips. We could have a life of our own. Gossip about other parents. <laughs> oh, under stories he can reminisce about wedding day. Uh, I think instead maybe we'll just uh, we'll just tell a group story. We don't want to think too much about our wedding day, Bob. You know what? We'll take uh, we'll take a photo with each of these guys just to improve our relationship a little bit. We want to fast track this friendship. Bob is in desperate need of support, guys. Ah, oh, new friends. There we go. Okay, now you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a club. We will be known as the Lats. Is there like a pint of beer or something? All right, let's just go for the video game thing. With Nox and Bran. Oh, they all have great compatibility. Oh, that's good. Activities include go out to the movies, play video games, and go fishing. There we go. Oh, we got our lads group. All right, Bob, let's go home. I feel like the dust has settled, you know, things move faster in The Sims 4 than they do anywhere else. I think we should invite Eliza over and just, now that we're starting to get a lease of life, you know, we're 
starting to focus on work. We've got some friends behind us. I think we should just rip the band-aid off and divorce. It's not going to work out. She's not interested. And we want to get on the dating game now, so fuck it. Just invite to hang out at current lot. There she is. Just divorce. Just do it. Get it done. Once it's done, it's done. We can start focusing on ourselves. Strong, independent sim. It's not Bob. It's definitely that sim. Uh, no, we're not gonna... Because we are committal. We didn't fuck this up. He is very sad, though, from being divorced. He's gonna be sad for a couple of days. But you know what? It's done. Let's just send her home. His performance is, like, towards excellent, though, which is good. Bob, let's just serve some food. Because we got to do our daily task. Then maybe we'll check in with ourselves in the mirror and... To try and get some sleep. Feels like it's been one crazy day after another, Bob. Oh, cooking level five? Well, that's something, isn't it? All right, let's just go give yourself a pep talk. We want to try and recover from this. Cry it out. Pep talk. Cry it out. Love day was awful. Oh, yeah, I forgot it was love day. Getting divorced on love day. Oh. Why don't you go get yourself some leftovers, mate? Have some food. And then we'll try and go to work with a positive attitude, huh? Yeah. I know. Aw, oh, Nox is messaging me. Oh, see? Your friends are there for you. Even if you do feel like a lonely sack of shit. Oh, wait, it's the weekend. We don't have work today. Oh, well then. In that case, we'll go ahead and invite the boys round. And we'll play a multiplayer game. We'll play Party Frenzy with the lads. Take a seat, boys. Make yourself comfortable. I don't think Bob is going to get out of his dressing gown for a few days. He does have a mood buff, though, camaraderie from being in a club gathering. So that's at least bringing him some happiness in his sorrow. You know what? We're even going to give ourselves a secret handshake. Oh, Iggy would have loved this. What the f What is that bitch doing at my house? What does she want? Oh, it's the welcome wagon. Uh, I think maybe we should just leave it this time, Liz. Can't you see him hanging out with the boys? Yeah, moving on, having fun. Why don't you call Travis? I'm sure he's not busy. Grab some leftovers. I think we're getting a little bit peckish. You know what, Bob? I think maybe you should go check in with yourself again. Just try and bring that sadness level down a little bit. We did meet someone when we were wandering around Henford on Bagley. I mean, not a romantic interest, but... We bumped into Cecilia Kang. We've got good compatibility with her. I mean, perhaps we could ask her if she wants to go for a drink sometime. All right, well, it's lunchtime. We've been playing video games all morning. I would say, guys, why don't we go watch a movie at the movie theater? We'll try and avoid any romantic comedies. Anything involving love, we're just gonna try and avoid. Let's watch, like, The Hangover or something of that kind of nature. All right, lads, what should we see? Oh, Greg's Revenge? Yeah, let's watch Greg's Revenge. And then maybe when we end the gathering and we go home... Oh, Bob is settled in his seat when a taller Sim comes and sits in front of him. Oh, this guy, he just can't catch a break, can he? The Sim is tall enough that they're blocking Bob's view. Should he move or stay put? Change seats, just go for it. Movie is less enjoyable. Ah, oh, he just can't catch a break. Yeah, I think when the movie's over, we'll end the gathering. And maybe we'll go sit in on a skill class, because I feel like that would be quite good for Bob. He just needs to take some time to really find himself, you know? All right, we'll end the gathering. We'll go home. We'll find a nice skill class that we can sit in on. A little bit of self-improvement. How long are you going to be sad for? 16 hours. Okay, so... Probably by tomorrow, you'll be fine. And maybe we can invite Cecilia out for a drink. Oh, I don't think I even gave you a computer, did I? Sorry, Bob, let me get you a laptop or something. Oh, we could have done it on our phone the whole time. Okay, let's go sit in on a skill class. Come on, Bob. Pick yourself back up, mate. Could do with the shower, but you know what? We'll worry about that when we get back. I think we'll go for... Bit of cooking? Improve more on our cooking skill, perhaps? Yeah? Okay. Alright, go take a bath. 
we didn't gain a cooking skill, but we were already quite high. So, okay, so now we're just on the brink of cooking level six, which is pretty good. We'll take a bath, give yourself a pep talk, cry it out, and then perhaps we'll just... We'll see if we can get an early night. Well, it's a new day, and guess who's not sad about their divorce anymore? That's right, it's Bob Pancakes. Well, you know what, Bob? You just enjoy yourself. Enjoy your day, and when it gets to later on, perhaps early evening, we'll ask Cecilia if she wants to grab a drink at the Rattlesnake Juice Bar or something. See how well we get on. All right, it's about 6 p.m., early evening. Uh, Knox decided to pop round, so I, I let him hang out for a little bit. But for right now, Knox, you can stay if you want. It's up to you. But me and Cecilia are going to go for a little bit of a drink, see how we get on. We might be compatible, we might, we might not be. But there's only one way to find out, isn't there? So let's just get back out on the game. Okay, perhaps we should uh, break the ice with a joke. Break the ice with a joke and then order drinks for the group. Maybe a nice glass of wine. Cecilia, do follow me. Maybe we'll sit on the couches, a little bit cosier. Oh, no? Start off, just ask her about her day. Ask her how her... I think her drink's already gone. She's necked that. Oh, well, we like a lady who can handle her wine. Huh. Jeffrey Landgrab, that's certainly an outfit choice you made there. Not now, Bran. I'm trying... I'm out on the pull. Uh, let's discuss interests, find out what kind of stuff she likes. What kind of music she's into. Ask about career, maybe, I don't think she has a job actually, so that might be a sore subject for her. She quite likes alternative uh, music, so that's cool. Hobbies and skills? Cecilia is a freelance programmer at the Computer Experts. Oh, well isn't that interesting? Please tell me all about it. Did she just leave? Has she actually just gone? Invite to hang out at current lot. Yes, yeah, she's, she's left. She just left. So, huh, well, that was a good good date, wasn't it? That one hour. I know it wasn't technically a date, but I kind of thought, you know, if things would go well, maybe it would lead to a date, but I guess I was very much mistaken. All right, we'll just write that one off. Maybe we'll see if we can get another date sometime, like an actual date. But you know what? For now, Bob, just get some leftovers take a shit. We've got work tomorrow anyway. We've had a nice weekend off. So we'll just refresh ourselves. Get ready for work tomorrow. I'm, I think I'm going to break this up into two installments. This storyline. First installment being this one. Really just about Bob. You know, finding his feet again as a single man. Going through a painful divorce. And then I think the second installment is going to be more focused on how you can be an active parent when you don't live in the family home anymore. So we're going to see a lot more of Iggy and Molly in part two, which I'll probably put out about this time next week. Okay, Bob, have a great day at work. Also, it's just occurred to me that he's wearing a shirt and tie to be an assistant dishwasher. Seems like an unnecessary uniform, don't you think? Shit, we can't afford to pay our bills. Huh. Alright, that's a bridge I'm sure we'll cross at some point. Before they turn off our power and electric. We can't have them turn off our bills, because otherwise... Liz is going to be a bitch about letting us have the kids over. Might have to sell something. We got a promotion to head dishwasher! Oh, I wonder if we'll go to work in... A full suit now. And on that note, I think I'm going to end part one here. We've achieved a lot. We've made some friends. We've got a place of our own. We divorced that cheating bitch. We've got a promotion at work. Things are looking on the up for Bob Pancakes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.